Hello oh guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen, this past Sunday I did a story that was uh, going around the internet, as sad as it was, about a 10-year-old girl that met uh, some guy on Bumble out there in uh, East Harlem, New York. And um, she was taken to an apartment and she was uh, violated. You know what I mean? That story, you know, affected a lot of people out there in New York and abroad. And the community came together. And uh, the silver lining in that negative cloud was the guy got caught today. This guy right here pictured is Draquan Drayton Howard from the Bronx. 23-year-old man, guys. This guy violated, violated a 10-year-old girl that he met on an adult dating site. Now, I said what I had to say about that whole situation. So I want to just show you the uh, news and the details of what they are as they have it, because he just got arrested. Check it out. The man's been arrested and charged for allegedly raping a 10-year-old girl he met online in East Harlem. Fox 5's Linda Schmidt is live outside the NYPD's 25th precinct where he has just walked out this afternoon. Linda. Yeah, hi there, Stephen Natasha. This story absolutely stomach turning. A 10 year old little girl allegedly raped by a 23 year old man. Go ahead and take a look. This is video here of the suspect from late this afternoon. His name is Draquan Drayton Howard of the Bronx. He turned himself into police today. He is charged with raping a 10 year old girl that he met on the adult dating app Bumble. Now, the rape happened on January 6th. That was just about three weeks ago. The NYPD says he met the little girl in the area of East 122nd Street and 3rd Avenue in East Harlem about 9 o'clock at night on January 6th. And then he took her to an apartment where he raped her. Community activists held a news conference this week calling on the public to help identify and find the suspect. And today, they also had a very strong message for parents. I'm glad that the community came out, spoke up, got this guy off the streets. We need more parents involved in their children because at the end of the day, there's predators out there on the internet. And if we're not monitoring you know, what they do on the internet, this could potentially happen again. So we want to stop this. We want to stop it where this here ends to prevent it from knocking on somebody else's door. And the NYPD also telling me tonight that this suspect has no prior arrests. Back inside to you. All right, guys, that's the story of Draquan Drayton Howard arrested for uh, what was done to the 10-year-old girl that he met on Bumble. Now, any responsible person, you know, my big thing with him is any responsible person should have did the right thing. You got a 10 year old girl coming down here. You can't say she didn't know she was 10 because she ain't contacting you off the site while she's walking to see you. And she met you at night. You know what I'm saying? East Harlem, Harlem, New York. What a 10 year old girl walking up and down the street at night for? Going to meet somebody by herself. Can't tell me you didn't know this was no child. And then when it, it, you seen it was a child, this is my biggest thing. If you seen it was a child, what would the normal uh, person do? Call the police. Because I'm going to clear my name. Hey, I didn't know you was a kid. Call the police. Hey, such and such, this and that. Take this girl home. Does that make sense? No. Too much like right. What he did was unexcusable. This girl went with you. And that's another thing. A 10-year-old girl going with a grown man. That right there, man, is eye-opening. Now, I mean, I understand, you know, children are curious. But um, another elephant in the room that needs to be addressed is it's like an irresponsibility here. you got to have some type of accountability as a parent in this. I mean, it's painful. Nobody want to say nothing because everybody want to look at what's, you know, what happened. But I mean, this is deeper than just the initial crime itself. There's no way a 10 year old girl would be wanting to meet a man. Think about it. 
We got to watch what our children are exposed to. She's on a date night app. Now, it ain't no per, uh, it ain't no way to stop, you know, somebody from faking their age on a date nap. That's another thing with these date naps. You know, they need to really like do some type of security to where they keep kids off this app. Like the man said, the Internet is full of predators. It is. And it's not just for, you know, uh, children. There are people that are preying on women out there, people that are preying on men. Put a woman's picture on a uh, thing and talk with you like it's a woman. Try to scam you out of money. Try to get me like that one time. Sometimes these guys get on these apps, you see it on the news. Try to meet up with these guys, get them to brag about their finances and stuff. You no know, guys are dumbasses, they get to talking. Oh, I got money, I this, I that. Oh. And all of a sudden, they go to meet them somewhere. The guy goes there, meets them, jump in the car with him, gunpoint, rob them. Just full of predators. That's why I don't deal with dating apps no more. Too dangerous. It is. Now, granted, they parents might not even know she was on there. But think about this, though. You got this child, right? Nobody ever looked in her phone. Let me tell you something. A lot of you guys got kids out there. Go and tell them to come here. Call, call them to you and say, let me see your phone for a second. Look at the expressions on their face. Children are smarter and they're exposed to a lot of things that you don't know outside the teachings of your own house. And that's real. It's a perfect example of that. You don't know who she plays with. You know, she might be running with somebody that's a fast ass little girl. Or we got boys out here that are mannish and your sons are playing with them. Just because you're teaching kids the right thing to do in the house don't mean they're carrying out outside the house. All of these stories I do seem like they're about people that don't have home training or respect for parents or anyone older than them. You ever notice that? The stories I do? Lack of respect. Lack of respect for older people. Lack of respect for people that look like them. Lack of respect for humanity, period. Lack of respect for women. This case, lack of respect for the innocence of a child. He took something from her that will never be replaced. She got a father. He wasn't thinking about none of that except his own selfish ambitions. You was on a date nap. Women come a dime a dozen on those apps. You could have met somebody. And I know they would have been more appealing than a 10 year old child. That initial contact. Is what makes him guilty because he didn't do anything. He didn't do the right thing. He didn't protect this child. This is somebody's daughter. Somebody's granddaughter. You always got to, re I, I relate to people the way I want them to relate to me. If the shoe was on the other foot, so to speak. Because I ain't lying. If my little girl was out there doing this type of stuff and a man caught her, I think he owes me as a man a little bit of respect to where, hey, I caught your daughter out here doing this. Yo, you know what I'm saying? I ain't that type of dude, this and that. But then again, who has common sense nowadays? What he did was wrong. They need to jack a truck up and put his head up under it and just release the jack. Save taxpayers money. Get it out of here. He said, oh, he doesn't have a record. Don't always have to have a record. It's the first time for anything or first time of getting caught. Think about that. He was bold enough to run with a 10 year old. They need to check into his background a little bit who he was around and asked a couple quick questions for him to be that bold to do that with a 10 year old that fast. God knows, man, sometimes got to do due diligence. You might be a pro at this. So this time right here, he might have had more control to go all the way in. It's something to think about. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share and subscribe. Man, this whole thing messed up around, man. They got him. Community came together. Hey, what you did was effed up and it, you need to be called out and addressed. Get him out of here. That's all you can ask for. See you in the next video. Take care.